all of the audio processors in the Rodecaster Pro are completely independent and only affect the channel that you want to edit, which is great as it allows you to tailor each microphone channel to the user. However, there is one processor that affects the master output of the Rodecaster Pro, and this is the master compressor. This is the same style of compressor found in the settings for each channel. However, it is applied across all channels combined. The master compressor is really useful for balancing the channels so that they are nice and even, even if their individual settings are completely different. We recommend adjusting this last after you are happy with all the other settings. It's a great way to tie everything together before you start recording. Now, in its basic mode, the Rodecaster Pro won't give you access to the master compressor. In order to unlock it, you'll need to turn on effects edit mode. With effects edit mode switched on, we can access the master compressor by pressing the settings button on the top left, then pressing the channels button. Now you can select the master compressor to access its controls. This will give you access to a range of parameters, including threshold, ratio, attack, release, and gain. On the right here, we have a level meter which gives you a visual reference of how the compressor is affecting your signal. The green meter is the input signal feeding into the compressor. This is all your other channels combined before they've been compressed. The yellow meter is the master output signal feeding out of the compressor after it's been affected. And lastly, the red meter on the right is the amount of compression or gain reduction that is being applied to your signal. When using the master compressor, it's important to apply it subtly as over-compressing the entire recording will result in a squash sound that might put your listeners off. The best way to approach this compressor is to position all your settings at a conservative point and slowly apply more and more until you're happy with your sound. To get your settings into this ideal starting position, simply turn your threshold all the way up to 0 dB and your ratio to 1.5 to 1. Attack can be a slower setting around about 5 milliseconds, release can be set to around about 1 second, and your gain to 0 dB. Let's quickly go through each control we have here to get a better understanding of what they do. The threshold sets the level at which the compressor will start working on the input signal. The ratio sets the amount of compression that will occur and determines how much gain reduction will happen. The attack sets how quickly the compressor will react to the input signal. The release sets how quickly the compressor will let go of the signal. And lastly, the gain control, which is a boost to make up any level that's been lost. Ideally, we want to achieve around 2 to 4 dB of gain reduction, which is quite a subtle amount of compression, but this is enough to evenly glue all the elements of our podcast together. It's worthwhile trying this out when you have multiple sounds coming through at the same time. So let's give this a go right now. I have a music track playing through the Bluetooth channel of the RCP, and I'm going to hit one of my sound pads and bring it up. And let's start to adjust our threshold. So I'm going to keep talking into my microphone until I'm starting to see around about minus 2 to minus 4 dB of gain reduction appearing. And as you can probably hear right now, my voice and the overall podcast sounds a bit more tight-knit and glued together. Remember, you do have the enable function to check if your adjustments are improving the sound of your recording or not. The undo function in the top left will revert your settings to the same point you had when you first opened the processor. So if you decide you liked it the way before opening the processor, simply hit this function. Remember, you can also adjust all these functions in real time from within the Rodecaster Pro companion app. In fact, there is one function here that doesn't appear on the Rodecaster Pro, and this is a revert to default function that will return the compression settings to their factory default position. Happy podcasting.